But it is a great day. Limpwood now has an outhouse. There is a toilet of one for nine people. What could go wrong? Hello and welcome to the game of Depraved. A Wild West city builder. Not just a city builder though. There is a bit of hostility. We are not going to do these little tutorial things. But I am going to click on my settler wagon as we... We'll start time here. Uh, where? Okay, this is weird. Usually, some native villages will pop in. And it doesn't appear that any did. Which is really strange. And has me concerned that this game is not working. Let's try this again. Let's try this a third time. Alright, well. Maybe they just don't come right away anymore. Used to be right at the beginning, you would get to native villages. Anyway. The first time I played this game, I could not find my settler wagon as I moved away to look at the native villages that populated. And it took me probably 10 minutes to find it again. Not that this map is huge, but it's a little different view-wise from a lot of the games I play. For instance, we don't have free roam over the camera. We can rotate, we can zoom in, we can zoom out. But we can't really change perspective. The only change of perspective we get is as we zoom in, we get more of a horizontal view. Or as we zoom out, and it's almost top down. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our cellular wagon. We're going to head over here. Because we want to be close to the rails. We want to be close to the rails. Oh, there's a bunch of wolves there, though. Yes, there are hostile. And there's a bear. There are hostile animals. <laughs> there's a couple of bears. There's another bear. Okay, let's stay over here on the plains with the bison. Okay, a tribe form nearby. Yes. It's way over here. Okay, so this tribe just popped in. They got a fair few people. They got some horses. Never really had any interaction with the natives other than one of the first times I played, they decided to burn my town down. <laughs> it wasn't pleasant. Uh, and it happened, you know, just like the middle of the night, they rolled in and just burned everything down. But apparently now, with this new update that just came out today, they don't attack at night, apparently. So, that's good. Alright, where do we want to put this town center at? Let's go ahead and pause so we don't fall too far behind the natives again. <laughs> and... Let us go ahead and put it in right over here. We'll plop that down. Magical construction site will appear. All of our resources as well as our initial settlers. And we got another tribe formed over here. Who are they? Uh, the Nopu. Opu? Yeah. The Hopu who give no poo. Okay, let's jump back over here. Who are these guys? The Navaru. Okay, interesting tribe names. Not enough laborers. How is that possible? Everybody's a laborer. No, actually they aren't. We do have a hunter. We're going to want him to get to work right away. Protecting people. Because we do have hostile animals. Um, are we going to have him get to work right away though? I don't know. Um, we are going to need a lumberjack. Let's go ahead and throw that in there, as well as a sawmill over here. Hmm, sawmill, sawmill. Let's leave a bit of space there for people to get 
by, I suppose. Oh, that rock. Oh, we got a bear. We got a bear, people. Where's where's my hunter? Get over here. All right, we got a wolf. Double click. Hurry up. Get over there before he attacks people. Because if these people get attacked, they will eventually bleed out because we are a fair ways from having a doctor. Go ahead and shoot that wolf. Now get that bear. Nice. And what do we need to get a hunter? We need a lumberjack and a sawmill. We can put down an outhouse now. A bridge and a warehouse. I think a warehouse would be a splendid idea. Okay. Let's place the warehouse really quick. Right there next to next to the town center. And you, buddy, start shooting some more. We do have some more Winchesters laying over here. But I think it'd be best to hold on to those for the moment. We just need one guy popping these animals. And I would like to rush to get a hunter's cabin, lodge, whatever you call it, up and running. Yeah, we got to take out these bears. They're getting way too close to town. Because if we get a hunting cabin up and running, then we can set up areas for those hunters just to keep animals clear of. So we can keep animals clear from the town. As well as, you know, these these animals that we manually hunt down, they won't go to waste. We'll be able to get the get the leather and the meat from them. Okay, so Pittsville is apparently the name of our town. We're gonna go ahead and change that. Pittsville it is not. This is gonna be Limpwood. Yes. The wonderful wild town of Limpwood. So as you can see, our people are knocking this out fairly rapidly. Not quite. We're at 67%. The lumberjack will go up. Here we go. Hauling, hauling necessary resources over to the sawmill. Getting that built up. We do start with a fair number of metal parts, but it will take us a while to get to the point where we can actually make those for ourselves. I think the first thing that will start disappearing, of course, is meat. Mm. No. Stones. We're going to run out of stones fairly quickly. Okay, so we got a lumberjack up. Um, where are those wolves? Yeah, we got wolves and bears over there still. So... Let's go ahead and have you work down here. Stay away from the, the beasts. Okay, so we got people working on here. We just got the two builders. Alejandro, how would you like to become a builder? There you go. Got our hunter, Ashley DeWitt, hanging out in front of Town Hall. Okay, and our laborers have nothing to do, it would seem. So let's go ahead and hire somebody else in. They can also work down here away from the beasts. Sawmill is going up nicely. Somebody will hop in there once that's completed, and we will start restocking our supply of wooden planks, which are rapidly depleting. And after that, of course, we're gonna want we're gonna want a stonemason then. And as you can see, all these buildings they cost us money. Uh, it's a negative five dollar cost income, so it's gonna cost us five dollars. Oh, I don't know per day or whatever the cycle is. Um, there are buildings that generate income, those being houses. 
Okay, so here's a hunter's. What? It's just a hunter. Okay. So it's a hunter cabin. Could have it... Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and stick that over here, I guess. There's no, like, fine adjustment for the rotation. It just goes where it wants to. So, good enough. And let's get a move on that. I don't want these disappearing. And we also have wolves inching closer to town. Yes, we need to get that hunter going. Where is our hunter that hangs out over here, by the way? Where did he go? Oh, he became our carpenter. Well, ain't that something. You just be a laborer. Actually, be a builder. That way you'll work on your hunting cabin. Oh, what do you see? Wolf. Well, get away from it, dude. And here comes a train. Hopefully it'll take these bears out for us. Yes, the glorious train, which is something that caught my eye when I saw that this game had an update. You can now have contracts with the train, like accepting contracts and all that. I don't know exactly what it entails, but if I had to guess, it would be a mission you accept to supply so many resources in a given amount of time for a sizable reward. Oh crap, where? There, you. That wolf is getting very close. You need to you need to pop him right now. Yes. Oh, no, he's still up. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, you, oh no. Okay, you don't appear to be injured. Excellent. You're fine. Okay, and here comes a trader. Yes, we do get traders that come in on stagecoaches. And we can set up trade here to sell or buy various resources. Uh, something we will have to set up to buy in the very near future will probably be metal parts. I'm, I'm thinking we're probably going to go through a fair few of those. So I've got 12 stones, so... Let's go ahead and get a stonemason set up. We're going to set that up back here as well, I believe. This will be our resource hub. We will get all our logs and lumber and meat and leather. I wonder if people will be able to squeeze by that. Probably not. Oh, the warehouse is done. Um, yeah, it's very expensive to upgrade this. So we're going to go ahead and do that. He's a builder. Still got 10 people. Got a nice, some nice trails being put in back here. Quit staring at the wolf and run away. You idiots. Okay. Yeah, they circled around to where our lumberjacks were going to be. Okay. Let's see. We get a hunter. No, don't grab that weapon. You're actually going to get fired. Okay, who's our... Where's our man? Where's our dude with the gun? Okay. Yes. A hunting you shall be. Let's go ahead and cover that area there. 
see, can we... Yes, gather that. Oh, shit. Get down here. These idiots just stare at a wolf. Shoot it. Shoot the wolf. <laughs> here it comes. <laughs> All right, we got it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Wow. Lots more wolves out here. All right, so I'm thinking we up it. You, hunter number one, are going to keep uh, killing stuff in that area. Number two, keep killing stuff there. Um, since this isn't in anyone's area, let's go ahead and gather from that bear before it disappears. Where is our other hunter? He's already grabbed a rifle. Uh-oh. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there now. Where... Where is he? Why is he running away too? No. Oh no. Shoot that. Shoot it now. Shoot it now. Shoot it now. Shoot it now. Shoot it there. Oh... Geraldine, you're fine. Go ahead and gather more from the bear, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> We've got a major animal threat here. Oh, stonemason is almost done. Not quite. Hmm. How much meat does this hold, by the way? It only holds 10 meat and 15 leather. So I think we can actually afford to sell meat. Not quite 10. We'll sell three at a time. Okay, how's the warehouse looking? Still need resources hauled over to it. Alright. How's this looking? One of twelve. We're looking good so far. Yeah, we're over... We're overstaffed on builders. Yeah, now we're down to two builders again, which is excellent. The hunters are staying busy, gathering all the meat and hide. Chopping trees down. And in fact... Uh-oh. We got a wolf closing in. Get that wolf. Nice. <laughs> you gotta keep an eye out for those things. Ah, uh, the sneaky little buggers. Alright, I think we're gonna want to start getting some houses put in. So let's go ahead and look into what that'll take. That takes planks, stones, and metal parts. But each shack will give us an income of 36 per. So we build two of these. And how many tenants does it hold? Up to three. So we need four to house everybody. And just two will give us a positive balance. 
Where's the front? There's the front. Where do we want to put our houses at? I don't want to put them on Main Street. That's where I am planning to, you know, have Main Street run straight down from the town hall. That's where we can have all our shootouts at. As well as some of our main shops, like the the Undertaker and the Doctor, of course. Gotta have them on Main Street for all the shootouts. So... Hmm... Houses. Where should people live? Well, why don't we go ahead and put a house over here. And a house right here. No. I don't like that. Put one here. And we'll put number three here. And then we need a fourth. But we'll worry about that once we get those three built up. Let's go ahead and speed up time. I think we really need to... Oh, you're you're hunting out this way. You stay down there. Number two, you're the one hunting up this way. So let's push that out a little further. Really try and keep those hostile animals far, far away from town. Uh, we got bear over here. A bear. Just hanging out in the desert. That's strange bear. Indeed. Lots and lots of rabbits and boars and bison. I don't mind them. They can live because they are friendly. They don't try to kill us. But the bears and the wolves, they need hunted. And we need to get an outhouse because I can only imagine what people are starting to do. And I don't I don't approve of it. So let's go ahead and put the put the stink shed back here. Okay. The back alley bank, if you will. It's in place. And we're doing good on resources. Doing good. Also, you might be wondering how we get more pioneers. Well, quite simply, if you have room in your houses for people, they will come. Making the old adage, if you build it, they will come true. Achievement unlocked of timber. Well, what do you know? Oh, our stonemason got finished, and since it was right next to a quarry, he went straight to work. And not just any quarry, a significant quarry. What do we have here? Automatically arm by a settler wagon. Expand our territory. Okay, so we're down to four meat, it would appear. Let's see. We're full up on meat here, so let's get a carrier to haul that meat off. The warehouse is done. Excellent. Now we'll, we're putting leather and everything. Oh no. Oh, this is what I was afraid of. Geraldine. She survived the wolf, only to be mauled by a bear that she beat to death with a log. But she's gonna die. Because she is injured. Which means her health is going to continually drop until she sees a doctor. And we don't have a doctor. What does it take to get a doctor? Well, we can get an undertaker once we have 12 pioneers. <laughs> it's good to know. A doctor also takes 12 pioneers. So we need, to, we need to bang these houses out, people. Geraldine's life literally depends on it. And I think my hunters were sleeping on the job because they have a full inventory of meat. Which is unfortunate. 
What are you doing, builder? I think we have too many builders. So, Alejandro, you're going to become a laborer again. Oh, no. What do we got? Run. Run away, Donna. Units. Get out here, people. What is this? Stances are mixed. Activities are put in motion. You. Hunter. This wolf needs to die. So, oh, she's so many wolves. They are just everywhere. Hurry up and shoot that wolf. He's bothering my lumberjack. Or lumberjill. Boom. Another wolf there. He saw it all. No witnesses. That's right. Uh oh. Ashley DeWitt, look out for the train! Okay, good. You're invincible. Yeah, old, old Geraldine, though, she certainly isn't invincible. She's gonna drop any day now, just the way she's dropped logs. Okay, so we got some meat headed here. This is good news. This is very good news. Got a lot of dead animals laying around. So why don't you go ahead and go grab some? Okay, we got a shack built, and we've got three people in the house. They need two firewood. Well, we've got 20. We have one stone in place for this shack. Amazingly, it only requires three. It's a three-point foundation. The marvels of Western engineering and ingenuity. Okay, do we have any major threats over here? It wouldn't appear so. It would appear we have neutralized all of the active hostiles in the immediate area. So Limpwood is safe for the moment. And it's funny, all of the activity takes place in what I envision will be kind of a back alley of the town. You know, out front. <laughs> I wish I could change the view more, but it's fine. Out in front of the town hall, which you can see the clock works. Let's us know the time of day. There's no activity, just some rifles laying on the laying in the dirt as they do. And everybody's in the back alley doing work. And Geraldine is gonna drop dead next to next to a bear. Is it the bear that brought on her demise? I think it is. She is going to drop dead next to the bear she killed with her bare hands. Bare hands are the best weapon against bears. Not enough laborers, huh? Yep. Well, thanks for that, Trump. Ah, there she is. She has died. It is sad indeed. But before she before she dropped dead, she managed to fell a tree on the railroad tracks so that many more may die as the train derails. She was not a selfless one, Geraldine. She figured if I'm going to die, I'm going to take everyone with me I can. Well done. Still got ten clothing. I guess nobody changes their clothes in Limpwood. Yep. Still don't have the shitter built. I mean, we've got an outline where the hole will go. Come on. Somebody grab a shovel. 
Besides, we need somewhere to put Geraldine. She's going to start stinking. We don't want that rotten next to our bear meat. Our second shack is almost completed. Glorious day indeed for Limpwood. Nothing new to build yet. I think we need to I think we need to get some shacks thrown up. Alright, what's our money situation? We got 16 grand. So let's go ahead and uh, expand the territory once. This will piss off the natives. Which is excellent. It really isn't. We don't have a chance in hell fighting off the natives right now. They were smart, they would attack now. Well, we're weak. We'll go ahead and leave a little walkway through there, I suppose. Nah, we'll close it up. Close the gap. We're gonna build a wall of houses. Yes. Our massive warehouse. Two stories. Be nice if we could upgrade it more. Make it like six stories tall. Because <laughs> it really doesn't hold a whole lot. <laughs> uh oh. The Navaru. They're going to be scalping us. Uh, the Nopus. They're not too bad. They're, they're a little disgruntled about our expansion. But the, the damn Navaru. Yep. Sitting up here freezing their teepees off. They're not too happy about it. Like we get stuck in this arctic climate. So you're down there living it up on the edge of the desert and forest. Yeah, sure, you got bears and wolves. Do you have frostbite? Didn't think so. What's Chief doing? Is he grabbing a gun? He better not be grabbing a gun. I don't know. I mean, there aren't a whole lot of, uh... There's only one Chief and not a whole lot of Indians. I think if we grab those Winchesters, we could, uh... Could put the herd on the Navaru. But alas, we'll wait. Uh, how do I... Hey, yeah, there. Back to my town. Navaru, what does this mean when the time runs out? Times run out. What? Why is it just sitting up there? Are the no poos making a move first? Nope. No poos don't care either. Okay. Excellent. Alright. We still only got nine people, which means that three houses would be sufficient to house everybody. But we want to grow. So we build this, and we'll be able to go up to 12 people, in which case we could then build a doctor's office, which is much too late to save poor Geraldine. Although it looks like somebody cleared the cleared the tree off the tracks, so the train will not derail today. Run away! Alejandro, no! Shoot her! <laughs> oh, from inside the cabin. That was wonderful. Alejandro... You lucky dog. Okay. The Nopus just aren't giving up. They are still pissed and they want us to know it. Or does this mean that the, the Navaru are they on the are, are they on the warpath? Come on. Why do I feel like there's a few Navaru missing? Where is my settlement? Let's follow the path that they would most likely take to burn my humble village down. Okay, there's blood there, but that's from the wolf we blew away. Still got a wolf sitting here waiting to be chopped up. Okay, I don't see any Indians on the way. I think we're good. I think we're good. Looks like they got over it. You know, they smoked the peace pipe and moved on. Just gotta be wary, because I know one day they will be coming for us. 
You know how they like their wigs. They're gonna come to take ours. Stone Mason still chipping away. We got two shacks up and running. Meaning we are making $17 every hour? Yeah, okay. So it's every hour, which measured on the clock. So you can watch this big hand go all the way around. Every time it goes around, we make $17. Oh my. It's gonna take a long time to recoup our 10 grand we've spent. There we go, another 17. Another 17 ducats in the bucket. Oh look, Geraldine jumped the train. She's out of here. Might as well speed up time. We're down to 17 metal parts. This is not spectacular. We have two meats. No meats hanging out here. Need to get this built. Do we only... Addison, you're the only... Oh yeah, because Alejandro took over the lumberjack position. Um, I don't think we need that many. Alejandro, you're fired. Go back to being a laborer. We got a carrier over here. Question is, do we need it? I think we do. All right, Ashley, gather from this wolf. Ellsworth, what are you doing, buddy? You just, just walking around, having a gay old time. Right, gather that meat. Comes another trader. Oh, we, we were stacking up meat. In the oh, okay, okay. I see how this works. We don't need the resources over here, actually. We can, they, they'll trade directly from our warehouse, which is awesome. So we are making some money that way. Selling some meat. Oh my. How many lumberjacks? Yeah, we just got the one lumberjack. That's all we need right now. Because we have, we have plenty of planks. You know, seven sitting out there, 18 there. We're doing good. 25 planks. And we've got a full lumberjack house. Full of logs. All right, so that shacks up. Yes, Alejandro, you're a homeowner now. Congratulations. Just kidding, you're paying rent. But everybody, everybody is now housed, which means once we build this place, we'll get some new people in town, new faces. It'll be wonderful. It'll be spectacular. However, we are gonna have to go ahead and call the episode here. This will be episode one of Depraved. Come back and check out Limpwood and see how it progresses or see if we all get cannibalized by natives. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Stay tuned for episode two. Keep working, Alejandro. You're doing good. Congratulations on the house. Don't let it go to your head. Oh, the shitter's been built. <laughs> we find, oh, what? Why do we have a, we got a question mark. They don't know what to do because there's no trees where they've been told to work. We got to fix that. Well, we got a hunter working up here, so go ahead and kill those trees. We're killing the animals, kill the trees too. But it is a great day, Limpwood now has an outhouse. There's a toilet of one for nine people. What could go wrong?